are cameras, really. Cameras are picture capturing devices that have been used in various situations to capture moments and the history of the world. The camera has a historical significance by allowing humans to capture images of the past, and its versatility has made it become widespread. The camera has played a huge role in changing the way humans document history and events. Before the camera was invented, people used paintbrushes and canvases to capture what they saw. Although this allowed them to capture what they saw in their mind, it did not allow them to accurately capture what they saw in real life. Today cameras are in many pieces of technology we use, from phones to computers, even to precise machines. The capabilities of cameras are infinite. We use cameras every day and look at images constantly without realizing this is all because of the invention of the camera. The human body has been the source for of inspiration for hundreds of years. Da Vinci made famous the concept of the camera obscura, the initial design for the camera that was to model the function of the human eye through light image refraction. These camera obscuras, let for dark room, were just that, a room. It wasn't until Della Porta suggested it for recreational use in the 16th century. By the 1720s, chemist Johann Schultz discovered that by combining silver, nitric acid, and salt, a chemical reaction would take place, turning black when exposed to sunlight. By 1835, William Talbot discovered that by combining silver nitrate and sodium chloride, a paper negative could be yielded. The first daguerreotype, that is the first successful and permanent photographic process, was discovered just two years later when French inventor Louis Daguerreau coated a copper plate with silver and washed it with nitric acid. This plate was left exposed to light for about 30 minutes and later an image would appear with the help of mercury vapors. In the 1860s, physicist James C. Maxwell discovered a permanent tricolor process. A photograph's negatives were taken through green, blue, and red filters that, when layered on top of each other, produced a photograph of color. The first person to commercialize the camera was George Eastman. In 1884, he created an easier, more accessible camera that was available to the public. He eventually started the company Kodak to sell those and more cameras that he innovated. He was truly the first person to create a cheap and easy camera for public usage. Many things have changed about cameras themselves, not just photography. In the beginning, camera obscuras were the size of a small room with a hole in the roof. From there, sizes have progressively shrunk. Sure, some cameras are bigger than others, but it mostly has been a trend of smaller sizes. Another camera-specific thing that has changed is the lapse time of a photo. The daguerreotype was the first image capturing device where the machine itself had a definite lapse time. For daguerreotypes, the time was 30 minutes. This is why old pictures depict solemn faces. It was too long of a time to smile. Now pictures are taken instantly. Not only the cameras themselves have changed, but the pictures they produce. Quality of picture, not including color capabilities, has skyrocketed. The first pictures were gritty and overall had a very bad quality. Now picture quality is so good that you can take pictures of a face and be able to see the individual pores. In 1888, Thomas Edison made the kinetoscope which recorded a moving picture. This was legendary because there was no way to preserve anything in the moment. This allowed that. One of the first things to go a horse at full gallop. Why this, you ask? It was to settle a bet. There has been a question for years. At full gallop, are all four hooves of a horse off the ground? This has been widely disputed over and it was impossible to view with the naked eye. With this video recorder, it was proven to be true. Cameras have helped to reshape our history and have played a huge role in impacting our cultural society. With the camera, we are able to see photographs of several things that have happened as well as getting a better idea of events that have occurred. The famous saying, a picture is worth a thousand words, is not very far from the way that cameras have helped to revolutionize the way we see our world and our surroundings. A great example would be the American Civil War beginning in 1861, which is considered the first major conflict to be extensively photographed. Not only did the fearless photographers venture onto the battlefields, but those very images were then widely spread and displayed in large quantities nationwide. Photography was used during that time to record the graphic reality that was revealed through many forms of written documentation. The significant and convenient use of documentation to capture historical events still plays a huge role today. The multiple applications of photography has derived to make it into a skeptical art form. 
Its diverse usage from scientific photography to commercial photography added to the popularity and mass distribution of digital cameras to be considered a medium of its own in the art world. Nowadays, there are multiple museums and galleries exhibiting photographic work. In the end, artists look for these photos where everything has come together to create something unique. As technological advancements in the camera increased, so did the use of advertising and entertainment. Companies began seeing advertising as a key way to promote and increase the sales of their products and services. Advertising images are used in billboards, magazines, posters, and flyers, and usually incorporate straightforward depictions of a product or model. In the late 19th century, the American culture that still exists today began to develop and the camera made its way into entertainment uses such as the motion picture films and television shows. Motion pictures and television shows served as a unifying factor because they were a huge industry that provided entertainment to everyone no matter their class and also showed people current events in other cultures of countries around the world. The use of cryptography has become more and more accessible to the general public since the creation of the Eastman Kodak Company, making photography almost a daily part of life. Aside from letting us capture images of our own past, the camera has allowed us to peer into the history of space. When looking into the sky, people often forget that they are seeing the stars as they looked millions of years ago. This is because the distance between the Earth and the stars are so great, photons traveling at the speed of light take several million years to reach the visual field of the lens of a camera. Thanks to advances in low-light camera technology, Humans can capture beautiful images of our universe. Telescopes such as the Hubble Telescope into orbit in 1990 have been capturing amazing photos ever since. The accuracy of the Hubble Telescope is so precise that it can see and focus on a human hair one mile away. With the photographic capabilities of a telescope, scientists have been able to make several new discoveries. By taking a 10 day long exposure, the Hubble telescope was able to capture a high resolution image of galaxies in a part of deep space, a place where we can see space before it was a billion years old. These images have given insight as to how the universe formed and where its future is headed. Cameras have also been placed on Mars rovers. One rover, Opportunity, captured this image. The holes, textures, and minerals in the rock hint that there was water on Mars at one point. Throughout modern history, the camera has dramatically changed humanity's ways of documenting events and information. From its innovation to its impact on society, the camera has had a significant influence on the history of the world. Documentation of wars, aid in the wake of discoveries, and the ability to hold on to memories are just of a few of the infinite possibilities the camera has to offer. Without cameras, the world would be undoubtedly different, and the current knowledge of the past would pale in comparison to what it is with this phenomenal device. <laughs>